Well, when this video is up, it'll have been a couple days, but as of filming this yesterday, I was at Walmart. And I knew they were coming out with this, so I was looking for it, and hey, they had it. It was either getting this or going to Target to get the Steelbook version of Glass. But for me, with my film collection, I like to keep things as much of a small space as possible. So a lot of times I only get multi-feature sets, even if it means cutting back on some special features. For example, I got the Blu-ray of Ice Age. I like Ice Age. I've always liked it from when it came out, and I still enjoy the film. And I wanted to upgrade, so I got the Blu-ray. But now, everything that was on the second disc of the Blu-ray, I don't have. It's just the movie and, like, a commentary and whatnot. And that scrat short, everything else, I no longer have. But I put up with it because Blu-rays take up less space than DVDs, and that's the main reasons why I collect Blu-rays. So if I get a multi-feature set like this, I will pick it up. So, this is the East Rail 177 Trilogy, or as I like to call it, M. Knight's Greatest Hits, because I do think these are his best works. Yes, even better than Sixth Sense, which is a fine film, but I don't think it's anywhere near as good as any of these films. I love them all. I think they're all great. Well, Split, I would have to say, is my least favorite. Which is kind of surprising considering how much I love horror. And this is the much more... This is the most horror-oriented film in the set. So, yes. Either this... For the steelbook, I chose the safe spacing. The s safe spacing. Ugh, no, the space saving edition, available only from Walmart. <laughs> So now my Blu-ray editions of Unbreakable and Split, I can get rid of and have them in the one case that contains glass. So then it'll, this is what I like. All right. Got two Blu-rays here, Killing of America and Dead Time Story. Boom, stack them down. Got three movies here. Look at all that space I'm saving. Now, take Wizard of Oz. Because since this is three films, stack that. That's a lot of space I'm saving. And that's why I like these sets. Even at the expense of losing a lot of special features. It's a tough compromise sometimes, but I think this is ultimately a better route for me personally. So I can keep buying things and still have room and not have to think about I'm starting to run out of space. What am I going to do? So I get these whenever I can. So, alright. I've been ranting on enough about why I chose this set in particular. Cause, yeah, it would be kind of cool to have a steel book. Kind of, you can kind of take or leave steel books, and one, well, one thing with steel books is that even Blu-rays are the same thickness as DVDs. So it kind of, you're for me, it's just buying it for the look of it. But I'm not saving any space, which is so it, it's a big pro and con with steel books for me. I have a few though. Like, I'm, yeah, what do I have for a steel book? Tenebrae, Spiria, Phenomena. 
the original Assault on Precinct 13, the original The Fog, um, I'm going to be getting Piranha soon, there's a few things I feel like I'm missing, but I know I have some other ones. I think that one of them might be one of my uh, video nasties. But I don't remember which one. Well, Tenebrae's a video nasty. Alright. Here we go. Here. I'll stick this up there. Just so the random thumbnail will always have this on display. There's Unbreakable. This will have been the third time I will have gotten this. I initially got got the DVD. I almost feel like I sh I got rid of it. I kind of regret that I did because one of the cool things with that, you know, it's a digipack, but it's got like these little art prints in it, you know, of like Elijah and David, you know, and kind of like a comic booky looking thing, you know. So it comes with some feelies, but I don't have that set anymore, and I kind of regret it. So third time getting Unbreakable. Second time getting Split. Big difference between these two in glass. It's kind of just the opposite of this, just kind of... This looks cooler though. This definitely looks like it'd be a lot cheaper to produce, so. First time buying this. I think my order of what I think are the best is Unbreakable, Glass, Split. Those are the order of what I think are the three best. <laughs> They're all good films. And Unbreakable is one of the films that really made me like M. Night. I like M. Night a lot. The only film, let's see, I haven't seen his pre Six Sense films. And I haven't seen Avatar. I mean The Last Airbender. Well, they're both probably equally crappy films from what I could tell. I hate Avatar. That film's trash. I haven't seen Avatar The Last Airbender. Well, I've seen, like, the first episode of it. I don't really do a series very often because they're investments in time. I don't want to take time all the time. So, yeah. All three in one nice slim case. It's a shame I have... I can only get this from... <gasps> But, oh well, now I have them in this nice, convenient set. So that's cool. I can take out two additional Blu-rays Blu and replace them with this. I think that's pretty cool. Just like how I got the Cloverfield trilogy, I can get rid of Cloverfield and 10 Cloverfield Lane and have one case has three films instead of two. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, for me, these sets are the way to go. Some people, some people will have to get each individual, and I can understand that. It definitely looks, can look a little bit better, look more hardcore, if you will. But, if you want to save space, this is definitely a way to go. They don't look as nice. And you can't, like, advertise everything you have here in your collection as well. But sometimes it's a compromise that you might have to take. So this is cool. I've talked on long enough. But I'm glad to have these films. Like, I really, 
This film got me hooked on Glass, I mean Shyamalan. And this film, I thought was a solid way to end the series. And the worst thing about it for me is that it ends on a way where we could get all these films taking place in this universe. And I would so watch it because these, in my opinion, these are better than anything coming out of Disney and the whole Marvel crap popcorn. Duh. I don't really, of all, I haven't really seen a Marvel movie I really liked, except maybe Captain America. But I haven't seen every one. Just the ones I have seen. Guardians of the Galaxy. Those were boring. Iron Man, dull. Um, what else have I seen that's actually in that universe? Um, Iron Man 2? That wasn't spectacular. Um, I feel like I've seen one or two others. But they didn't leave any special impression. I just thought they were dumb, generic action movies. Not my thing. I like a little bit more thought. So this is like the thinking man's MCU. I'd love to see more of it. The series is supposed to be over. But it opens up for a possibility of having a lot more stories. Which could be awesome. Anyways, that's about it for this one. Check me out on Minds and Bitshoot if you're so inclined, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.